Welcome runners, this is Pixel and today I will be providing you with a few tips and tricks that will make your gameplay more enjoyable in SnowRunner. Now on that note, let's begin with the starting point which is Black River, Michigan. Michigan is where your SnowRunner adventure begins, but you are by no means obliged to complete it before moving on to Alaska or uh, Tamir. From forested valleys to marshes rich in oil, you'll be taking on a variety of tasks for the businesses competing for land. As a starting vehicle, you will get the Chevy CK1500 with engageable all-wheel drive but no diff lock installed. Important to know from the beginning is that this pickup truck is not equipped for off-roading, so uh, keep that in mind and think twice before venturing out into deep mud. Starting off with tip number one, gearbox management. My first tip for you guys is to try to use the low gear in muddy areas or if you really want to use the automatic option, make sure you got the right momentum in order to get through, the, uh, through any obstacles, otherwise before you know it those tires will keep on spinning and you will end up buried in mud. Moving on to tip number two, the watchtowers. My second tip for you guys is to discover all the watchtowers before taking on uh, any tasks or contracts. By doing so you will have a better vision of the map, thus you can avoid getting stuck or even lost. Now tip number three, get a better scouting vehicle. There are different areas of the map where the Chevy uh, CK1500 at the beginning will be overwhelmed. If you want to save time and avoid frustration by having to recover the Chevy each time it will tilt over or get stuck in deep mud, my advice for you guys is to go for the International Scout 800. Uh, you can find it at the top of the mountain near Riverside Repair Mission. The Scout comes with engageable all-wheel drive and permanent diff lock. Uh, take it back to the garage, install some off-roading tires and the roof rack and you're good to go. This will make your off-roading experience 10 times better. Moving on to tip number 4, the upgrades. While discovering the watchtowers, make sure you take all the upgrades that you come across. Those upgrades will play an important part for you and your vehicles. So you will discover mostly mechanical upgrades from suspension kits to better engines and transmissions. Tip number 5, the go-to truck. Once you discover the garage and the International Fleet Star F2070A, install an all-wheel drive system on it and also a flatbed. This truck is going to be your workhorse and it will help you further uh, your progression in the campaign mode, so keep that in mind. Moving on to tip number 6, easy money. Try doing the easier tasks at first, then move on to the contracts and harder tasks. Your main focus during the game is to make money, upgrade your gear and progress throughout the game. Although you won't be making too much money via the uh, easier tasks, it will be enough in order to do some important upgrades uh, to your vehicles, so keep that in mind before taking on a contract or a task. The bigger the check, the higher the risk in getting stuck. Jumping in into tip number 7, plan ahead. Before getting your truck on the road and charging to the quest location, Scout your route options and bear in mind that usually the shortest route will prove to be the hardest, so good planning usually saves you from trouble. Moving on into tip number 8, low distribution guys. When it comes to low distribution, it is important to understand that this will affect the way your vehicle will react and respond to the terrain. If you have a flat bed or a sideboard bed and the semi-trailer attached to it, make sure you always put uh, your load on the flatbed first. You will need some weight on the rear axle in order to get some grip. Do it wrong and those wheels will keep on spinning. Number 9 on our list, throttle control. In case you get stuck, take it easy and don't be too hard on the acceleration. Switch through the low gears and once you find that sweet spot, you will be able to get out of the mud in no time. The last tip on our list, be patient and don't forget to have fun. The game will prove out to be challenging most of the time, but with a bit of a patience, nothing can stand in your way. Those are my top 10 tips for today regarding SnowRunner guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please do click on that like button and if you're new to the channel, greetings and feel free to subscribe. On that note, thank you once again and see you in the next one.